Hello, everybody, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and boy, do we have so much to get into, not only on this episode, but basically over the next week, we have so much to discuss as it pertains to Taylor Swift, the Tortured Poets Department, and everything that Taylor has given us over the last week or so. There still could be more things to come. Taylor's been oddly quiet, I would say, over the last couple of days. So maybe there's some other secrets and things that we don't know about that are coming our way very soon. But in this video today, we're going to be talking about Taylor and Travis, the adorable videos that we got of Taylor and Travis, despite them being short, they were very, they kind of broke the internet, I think it's safe to say. And then just some other Taylor Travis news that we've gotten over the last couple of days. But we have to start with, have to start with, on Friday night, when Taylor dropped the music video for Fortnite featuring Post Malone, she also shared with us a video, a little YouTube short, a compilation of personal videos of her for her for a Fortnite challenge. Essentially, I think what she wanted people to do is compile videos of themselves living life over the course of two weeks. And she herself did that, sharing personal videos of her with her cats, making crafts, etc., etc., and then also shared a couple of videos of herself with Travis, which I don't know if anybody else did this, but when I saw it, I kind of screamed <laughs> to myself. And I know that might sound incredibly dramatic because it is incredibly dramatic, but for Taylor, who for a very, very long time didn't share anything about her personal life to actually actually see her share something personal, a personal video of herself with her boyfriend, it kind of shocked me. I was definitely surprised to see it. So in one of the videos, Taylor is cooking some food. Looks like she might be making some sort of pasta dish or something. I don't know. But she's, she's like stirring the um, pan. And then Travis comes out of nowhere, gives her a sweet kiss on the cheek. She's kind of, she kind of seems surprised by the action, um, which was just so, it was just such a sweet moment. And a lot of people on the internet said that it, it felt like Travis had like just come home from work. <laughs> Taylor was making dinner and Travis just decided to give her a sweet kiss on the cheek, which was adorable, very human. And again, I know that sounds obvious because they are just people, but she's the biggest pop star in the world. He's one of the most famous and successful athletes in the world. But you know, sometimes they just are making dinner and hanging out at home and being normal people, which I thought was so sweet. We also got a little clip of her. I think the two weeks that she was sort of, um, she was she was highlighting were like the, like the week of her in Singapore and then the, the week following Singapore because it looked like th there were some clips of her from Singapore and then also in Los Angeles. Um, there was a clip you could see Taylor and Travis from the back. It was kind of dark of them at that sort of garden, cool, incredible garden in Singapore, which I definitely caught. I don't know if other people caught that. Um, and then we got, we got some other fun things. We actually, what was also crazy, we got a video of Taylor, a clip of her in a Kansas Jayhawks sweatshirt. Now I know her best friend Abigail went to the University of Kansas, that whole thing. I also went to the University of Kansas. <laughs> so to see that, to see Taylor still wearing Kansas gear, despite the fact that her best friend graduated college over a decade ago, it's been a long time since Abigail was in college. She's still repping the Kansas Jayhawks, which again, as a Jayhawk myself, I was obsessed with. And then we see a little clip of her playing pickleball or before pickleball holding her paddle and it's a Chiefs paddle. And as you can see, and if you've watched this channel, you know I'm a Chiefs fan. So the combination of the Travis element, the Kansas Jayhawks element, the Chiefs element, I was obsessed with the video despite it being quite short. Um, but I would love to know what you guys thought of it if you were surprised by the Travis inclusion. And do we think we're gonna get some more Travis? Like, will she, will Taylor go back to the way that she was when she was dating Calvin Harris, Tom Hiddleston? Will she share personal photos of her relationship on Instagram? I don't know that we'll ever get there, but maybe, maybe if it escalates and like they get married someday, she might. 
but I feel like we're inching a little bit closer. We obviously got that TikTok of her with Travis after the Chief Super Bowl win in the in the um, in the club with her parents, <laughs> uh, which that also I think kind of shocked people too. So I loved it. It warmed my heart, and I was just happy to see that. In other Taylor and Travis news, they are officially not going to be going to the Met Gala. I know that I said. I can't remember when I said it, that I thought that their first public moment was going to be at the Met Gala. Well, it turns out they're not gonna be going. Taylor, of course, in I think just a few days following the Met Gala, she's gonna be performing in Paris. And so there's a part of me that feels like she might already be in Europe by the time the Met Gala happens, like and give her some days to prepare, jet lag, I don't know. But I, I could see her skipping for those reasons. Don't know why Travis said no. Um, probably has other things going on, uh, other things that he is that he is doing that weekend or just in general. Maybe he's going with Taylor over to Europe as well. Maybe they're doing like a little pre, um, pre Eras Tour Europe vacation. Maybe they're doing a little traveling around before the tour starts up again. But regardless, doesn't look like we'll be seeing them at the Met Gala this year, which is okay, which is okay. There's still plenty of time for them to make the red carpet debut maybe like i can't think of what else is coming up in the next few months that would require them to be on a red carpet um but a girl can dream we can only dream um and then we also got some news this weekend about how travis feels following the release of the torture poets department because as we know having listened to the album there's a lot of songs well basically the whole album aside from a few songs are about her past relationships specifically with Joe Allen and Maddie Healy. And I think it's it would be understandable if Travis, not that he would feel like bad or he would be mad about the fact that she would write about past her past, because of course she she would. And the fact that's the whole point. And it, it is her past. She's currently with somebody else. Um, but it could I, I could understand it being kind of weird, kind of weird to listen to songs that your current girlfriend has written about past boyfriends. I, I would understand that feeling just a little bit. Oh, oh. Well, a little strange, but it turns out Travis doesn't care at all. He's super happy for for Taylor. Super happy that she's put out the the the, um, the album and is just really proud of her success. And this is a quote that we got from a source through Entertainment Tonight. He knows how much this means to her and thinks she's extremely talented. Taylor and Travis admire each other's creative process and work ethic. They cheer each other on, respect each other's opinions, and are open and communicative. So. There you go. Also, again, Travis is just in incredibly unbothered. I, I can't really imagine that there's a lot that really irritates Travis, especially obviously outside of like the, uh, the football field. I just, I think he's the kind of guy who's very secure with who he is, who's very comfortable with who he is, who just knows that he's in a solid relationship. He's happy. He doesn't feel threatened by the past. He's not worried. He's just, he's not worried at all which I love. And as Taylor said in the album, like this chapter is closed of her life. This part of her life is done. She had to put this out to like move on from all of it. And now she can move on. And I don't think she'll put out any, any new music anytime soon, though maybe she will because we know this girl loves to write. But I do think that the next album we get, whenever that may be, you know, it's going to be Travis focused. And I think it's healthy for her to work through that stuff, put it out, and then move forward. So that's kind of the Taylor Travis update from the last couple of days. As I mentioned earlier, this is going to be, this whole week, we're gonna have a lot to discuss about the Torture Poets Department. I'm still going to do my breakdown of the anthology songs, because I, I reacted to the first 16 tracks, but then we got the additional 15 tracks. So I'm gonna go through that, break it all down, share my favorites, least favorites. We're gonna rank the entire album from one to 31 and go through all of that. I have some other hot takes, things I wanna discuss. So this week is gonna be full of content. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, if you love Taylor Swift, please do so. And as we head into the Eras Tour, back up again and all that stuff, we're gonna be covering everything that has to do with Taylor Swift over here. So if you love Taylor and don't wanna miss a second of content, please subscribe to our channel. As always, follow us on social media. Oh, and make sure to share all your thoughts and feelings, opinions about everything that's happened regarding Taylor Swift in the comments. I wanna read them all. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.